Welcome back. Our path is blocked by this crane that's brutally hanging in front of where the bridge is supposed to go. And it will not let us even attempt to raise it. So we can't even try to like crawl under it or whatever. There is however a ladder here. Which we can climb. Um, not much up here. Other than another socket. So, this realm is the source of our water. And you will learn what must be done by doing all that we did. And I will help, but I will not hold your hand. Is it better to learn by contemplating, failing, hopefully understanding? We thought we understood. There's a weird undertone to these messages. If she's just intending to teach us how to be a keeper, it's kind of sounding a bit uh, strange. Those flags I've seen better days. Oh, this goes all the way over there. Around the corner there. Behind the sun. Or, well, not really, but in the direction of the sun. Uh, well, let's move it anyway. Some sockets of multiple modes. Use the mouse wheel or tap key to switch modes. Alright, we have crane controls, drive or lift. We can lower and raise it. Can't we just raise it out of the way of the bridge? go all the way up here. That would seem to be clear. Let's give it a try. Yay, it worked. Uh, excuse me? Sir? Can somebody raise the other side, maybe? That... that's not helpful. There's no socket that I can reach, either. Why? Just why? Um... well, that's a problem. There's nowhere else we could go. Well, the only thing we can try and do is play around with this crane, I guess. Let's see if there's something else we can accomplish. Maybe it can somehow be used to lower the other bridge. I wonder... that crane's probably used to collect those ice cubes. Um, let's see... we can move it. try to grab an ice cube. Why not? Eyes ready. I want to see this happen. If it will let me. There it goes. Goes automatically now. Okay. I guess they got water from here. They must have brought these blocks over and then um, melted them somewhere, presumably. Okay, now what? We have an ice cube. on the ice cube? I mean, this looks jumpable. Not sure if I would try in real life. Actually, I'm pretty sure I won't, wouldn't. But, anyway, even if we did, we couldn't get off the other side. Maybe... Uh, below. 
We can use this to cross the second half of the bridge or something. Give that a try. Yeah, no, that's never working. A, I lowered it too much, but even if I didn't, I don't think I can get past here. This automatically lowered the bridge again. I guess to prevent it from being damaged by the crane. So that's not it. Still think there's something to this walking on the ice part. Either if we can get on it and then move the crane, or we can't get on it from here. How about over there? Worth a try, I guess. Trying to operate the controls and move myself at the same time. It's kind of annoying. Oh, and I moved too far. I disconnected the socket. That looks possible. I need to lower it a little bit, though. That lines up pretty well. Let's go take a look. Let's see. Yes, we can get on it. This would be terrifying. Not gonna lie. Um, okay. I guess we don't even need to move the crane from here because we can just walk to the other side. Haha, -ha, take that bridge. When uh, I was first playing this, it was actually my wife that figured this out. <laughs> Not me. Full disclosure. She got there first. Let's try and lower it over there. Um, now we can get to the... Oh. Well, that's broken. Socket's still working, though. I'm assuming that this is the intended way. That if that socket on this side wasn't broken, you wouldn't need to use this trick with the ice block. Is this just damage and neglect? Is this what we just heard? This rocks falling? If this just happened, I'm gonna be really mad. Should have just been a little faster. I don't think so. This looks like it happened a while ago, just based on the fact that this is covered with snow as well. Um, anyway, we now have a shortcut. As long as we don't move the ice. Um, we can still go back that way too. Actually, we can't move the ice because, yeah, I don't think we can reach the top from here. For one thing, the Angle isn't right, and it would be too far away anyway. But, um... Yeah, so we can't actually move the ice block. If we are... That's a... Mightily loud buzzing from that light. Um... But yeah, we can't actually move the ice block without also being on that side of the bridge. Which would kind of defeat the purpose of what we just did. Besides, I don't know why we would need a nice block over there right now. So let's not worry. Isn't it breathtaking? The arches of the firmaments. So inspiring and uh, reassuring. <laughs> and this, as this pod will convey you to this one where I once lived with my comrades. 
go when you like. You can return here. All right. Some form of transportation, I guess. From what she just said. Curievale Bluff. Is that where we are or where we're going? Conveyance pod. Well, she said we were going to the Swan. This would take us to the Swan. So I'm guessing Curieville Bluff is where we are right now. Destination the Swan. Looks like we can pick destinations, but there are no others. And we can turn this on. Um, I could. I totally could. Kind of want to just see what that's the end of this path, at least. This goes further. And this thing that is apparently the Arch of the Firmament, or one of them anyway. Um, I kind of want to see if we can get there. Dilemma. Do we go here or do we check this swan? Depends on how much we trust her, I guess. She said we could come back here. I'm not entirely sure if we can believe everything she says. Actually, she told us she lied. She was gonna lie, so maybe that's not true. Maybe we can't come back here. Unless saying that she was gonna lie was the lie. But then we'd have a paradox, so... Do we? If you say so. Another set of britches. Working as intended this time, so we can actually just um, walk across without any ice shenanigans. And then there's a big door. And not a socket to be found. What is that? The base, it almost looks like a church. Whatever it is, it's huge. Mm -hmm. can sort of see through here. Can't tell much other than the fact that the path continues over there, but... Uh, yeah. I don't see a way to open this door. Um, this, this just controls the bridge. There's another ladder here. Oh, that's more, just more crane controls. So no controls for the door here either. Well, fine. You want crane controls, I will control the crane. Maybe we can use the crane to open that door or something. Maybe it'll open automatically when the it gets there or something. I don't know. Let's move the crane forward. Um, oh, that's the destination, I guess. Towards the ice chute and towards the ice quarry. Okay. Uh, yeah, and as I suspected, that bridge opens automatically. Hey, I can get on here. That's neat. Cool. I can still drive it. go. That didn't sound good. Are we stuck? It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like the ice is stuck behind 
piece of the mountain. There's no raise lower controls here. Oh well, um, this is getting annoying. You know what? Maybe we should go to the swan first. Maybe there's something we'll learn there that'll help us open this uh, door and then we don't need to bother with any of this. I'm just kind of curious though. Can we s yeah, are we indeed hitting the mountain there? Yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Well, that's a great design there. Wonder if that's how it always was. Kind of looks like it must have been. Who knows? Oh, now this this bridge also closed. Thank God we can go back though. Okay, well, I guess um, you win. We'll go check out the swan first. Wonder if this is a literal swan or something else entirely. Okay, well, we have no choice other than the swan. Oh, I just noticed, I guess those symbols on the right, with the X's through them, are those upgrades. Showing that we indeed have none of them. Great. Alright, let's see what this does. Just a fancy train, maybe. We met. What What do you measure? You will not be able to witness the wonder of the other realms. But you will transit to the swan first. Alright. Okay. Based on the weird columns of light, I'm gonna say not just a fancy elevator or train or whatever. We were taken Welcome somewhere. Welcome to the swan, where we gathered, talked, sang, learned, eat, laughed, shared. My memories of this place, so vivid, so wonderful, so peaceful, till it was shattered. The lies are controlling, but comforting. more indication that something happened and indeed it does seem kind of deserted here she's talking as if there were many people here oh. conveyance spot shut behind us uh, it's very pretty that's for sure Right now, there are definitely not any people here. Oh, look. The, our sleeping pod also went through here by the looks of it. Interesting. We'll see where that came from shortly. Let's take a little look around first, though. Uh, keeper's Rest. Welcome to the Swan. You have earned the honor of resting. You require cycles of rest, as do all living things. Recharge for your purpose of keeping the realms. Converse with your comrades. Disport yourself with crafts, music, or frivolity. Find respite in your quarters. Acknowledge in the lights of the firmament above those who now sleep. Yet do not be overly focused on rest. The purpose of rest is to assist us in fulfilling our keeping with increased energy and renewed vigor. Do not concern yourself with fatuous dreams during rest. 
Dreams are not trustworthy, rational, or measurable. Dreams bring false thoughts from our subconscious that might distract us from our true conscious purpose. You are a keeper. Rest is a vital part of keeping. Appreciate the small rests until it is time for your deep sleep. The Founders I'm definitely getting creepy vibes from all of this. Between that and the weird, ominous slogans being chanted at regular intervals. Something's up. I can feel it. Um, oh, there's another book here. Oh. This is just another manual. For our adjunct. We already read that. What are all these lights? It's very pretty. Don't know what function it serves. Love the ambience here, though, with the music. And some very comfy couches, by the looks of it. Can't sit on it, though. Let's see where our pot came from. There's another one of those conveyance pots here, though. Not where the sleeping pot came from. Julston. Yeah, the swan is where we are. Let's take a quick look over here. Actually, kind of. Curieville. That's what it said when we were there, yeah. So I guess this is the takes you to Curieville. There's another one. St. Andrew. Huh. So at least three places we can visit with these pods. But if why can you select the destination if you if they're separate pods? Not entirely sure. She said we could visit uh, experience the other realms, so these must go to different places that are not just other parts of that rocky snowy terrain. This also doesn't look like it's near there. Though I guess it could just be underground, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Pot was dragged down the stairs here. Another room over here. It's not where it came from, though. Dragged down more stairs. Somebody went through an awful lot of effort to do this. This can't have been light. There was at least a full-size person inside. Threshold. That is uh, where she said we awakened from. The threshold. Um, okay. This is the threshold. Where we cross from wake to sleep, from sleep to wake. Put them all to sleep. It was very difficult. She almost makes it sound like she's talking about death instead of sleep. But, you know, you don't really wake up from death, so I'm not sure. Keeper's Wake. And this is apparently where we came from, so I'm guessing that this is where that sleeping pod was. Stored. She said that she once woke up like that too, but she awoke in the swan, so that would have been here. Why didn't we? Why take us all that way? Who knows? There's some names on the wall here. Samuel, Nicola, Louis, Andre, Laszlo, Boris, Antoine, Lucas, William, Maria, Martha, Gertrude, 
uh, Jacques, Marie, Rosa, Margot, Amalie, Josephine, Sophia, and Adela. I wonder if our mentor voice is one of these names. The one on the ones on this side, I guess, because these seem to be all the women and guys' names on this side. Jacques could be either, I guess, could be short for like Jacqueline or could be Jack, you know? Um, not sure. Gonna guess it's a girl's name just based on the fact that all the other ones on this side are. Names of other keepers? Or names of Kickstarter backers? Who knows? And this is the paint they used to paint our names up here. Somebody spilled the green paint, and by the looks of it, that happened before they actually drew their names, because uh, none of the names are written in green. <laughs> A little green patch here, but that is all. Everything else is uh, red, uh, yellow, blue, and I guess black. Tell us what this is, though. It's on the other side here. Time heals all wounds. I recently learned of that saying. Seems like a atonalization when the wounds of the seed are so fresh. I recently learned of that word. But indeed. Time in the threshold heals all wounds. <laughs> Not mixed emotions I have about that. Keeper sleep. So I'm guessing you go in here to be put to sleep and then you come out the other side when it's time to wake up? Is that just how they sleep every night or? Is it something else? Is this just lighting or is there like water above here? Not sure. Um, it seems like an awful process to do every night. And there's a syringe here just to make it even more creepy. scuff marks on the floor here, presumably from the chairs, I guess. Doesn't seem to be related to our pond. Well, I guess we've solved the mystery of the sleeping pod. We know where it came from. We didn't really solve any mystery, did we? We know where it came from, but we don't know what that is, or what, why it was there, or what anything of that means, and why don't we have any memories. Um... Huh, here you can walk up to... The sphere in the middle. Oh, they prepared us well. They gave us everything we needed. They gave us life, hope, and purpose, and answers. They gave us a name, the Keepers. Regardless, there are more important things. You must begin to prepare for the assembly. You must do things that have never been done before. You must do things that I can only imagine, and has even imagined for little of my life. I only wish I could see it. Awaken the embrace to prepare. Okay, sounds simple. We have to uh, prepare for the assembly, and to do that we must awaken the embrace, and this would be a hell of a lot simpler if I knew what any of those words meant. You haven't really given us much to uh, go on here, have you? Uh, another side chamber here, just like on the other side. And down below here is more seating space. Playing cards. That's fun. Some more books. An ashtray. I wouldn't smoke in here. 
Um, I wouldn't smoke anywhere, but that's besides the point. And stuff. No idea what this is. Looks like part of some machine. More canisters, gas cans. And a gramophone. Diagrams of what looked to be maybe the conveyance pods or I don't know, it's hard to tell. Something round anyway. Okay, there's a there's a gramophone here, but no records and no way to interact with it. One out of ten IGN. I'm disappointed in you, game. More equipment of some form. I don't know what this is. Kind of puts me in mind of uh, the movie Event Horizon, which is definitely hoping it's not that sinister. It's also a lot prettier than that uh, movie, anyway. This is chemical stuff, at least drawings of some of the flasks we've been seeing. And another bottle of leeches, always fun. Other bottles. If these were inks, this could have be could be straight out of Atrus's desk. Scales. A trunk. Oh. Uh, it looks like somebody at least was artistic, because there's uh, some sculpture going on here, as well as some painting. As long as the only colors you want to use are red, blue, and black, I guess. There's green here. Yeah, it looks like they just used this space for leisure time, I guess. Uh, and I guess we'll see what's in those side chambers in the next video.